And welcome back, everybody, to Swooning Over Stands, a grunkle dating simulator. I'm Party Guy Douglas, and I'm here with Travis. That's me. And we're going to get back to dating some grunkles. We're going on a fishing <laughs> trip last time I, I last time I recall, right? Yeah, I was tempted to say, it's a me. The well, Travis. Well, you said it. <laughs> so let's keep going. There we go. He doesn't respond, just reaching up and closes the trunk. But you see, he looks almost too privately pleased to give comment. Come on, let's get to the lake before all those tourists take the good parking spots. <laughs> That's a good idea, Stan. Right. You're always full of good ideas in that big, beautiful head of yours. Ah, what are you talking about? The parking lot is far <laughs> less packed than Stan made it out to be. The weather brought out the true fishing fanatics, and you recognize a few customers from the shack's gift shop milling about. There are a couple of clouds out, but the sunshine is warm against your skin as you step out of the car and shield your eyes from the light as you look over at the lake. A few boats bobbing up and down in the blue-gray water sport telltale signs of fellow fishers with poles sticking out over the boat's edges, but some people are just relaxing in the water. Families sit on the beach, towels and sunbathe, and you spot a couple of kids standing in line for a hot dog stand. For a small town, this place is pretty lively. Yeah, I guess I agree. Oh, yeah, you know, oh. it's a pretty, pretty decent little town. I think, I think Mabel would like it here. Yeah, yeah, you know. It's oh, a bird. Heck yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Wendy, <laughs> you're the, wearing my hat. <laughs> that red bathing suit, man. Uh, oh, <laughs> <laughs> Mabel and Dipper run out to the shore, where a splash for Mabel soon devolves the moment into a contest of who can splash whom the most. I'm gonna get you so wet, Mabel. Wait, no, that not, sounded wrong. Not oh. if I get you wet first, Dipper. Oh, oh heck, no, don't say it that way. <laughs> you grin at them in their laughter, but a quiet grunt from behind you <clears throat> catches your attention. Left to get everything... Left to get everything out of the trunk, Stan struggles to get the fishing equipment out without dropping <clears throat> anything. <clears throat> oh, God. What are you talking about? This isn't heavy. Not to stop. I like... I I'm an old man. I wonder which one of these options the game wants <laughs> us to choose. Right. Hmm. <laughs> Being a jerk. <laughs> hey, need some help? Stan glances up at you. It's, uh, it's not really that much, you know? <laughs> not even a couple of poles, if you know what mm. I mean. Stan considers this for a moment, then hands you two of the four fishing poles. Nah, think you can hold your own. What, under the crushing weight of a couple fishing poles? I think I can manage. <laughs> you hear Mabel's voice from the distance, away to the shore. Truce, truce, hold on, I've got a phone call. Uh, Mabel, you can't answer the phone right now while I'm Be splashing quiet, your- Be quiet, Dipper. You might get electrocuted. <laughs> You see Mabel taking out her cell phone as Dipper takes the opportunity to start wringing out parts of his p shirt. Uh-huh. Okay. I'll be there in five. Bye, Grinda. Mabel hangs up and rushes to you and Stan. <laughs> that was the rushing sound. Well, was... Google Stan, I'm really, really, really sorry, but an emergency is happening right as we speak. What kind of emergency? A fashion disaster. <laughs> what? Is somebody dying? No, the opposite. A birthing. Oh. Oh, oh my. Grinda Jr. is having a baby right now, and Grinda needs me there for motherly support. Grunkle Stan, you gotta let me go. Uh, Stan uh, scratches uh, his uh, head and frowns. Uh, um, I don't know, sweetie. I thought we were all gonna go fishing today. Uh, can't she hold it? Isn't that a, a thing that happens that they could do? Hold babies in? I think I've done that before. I've got a lot to teach you, Stan. <laughs> what are you talking about? Nope, and it's not every day I get to see the wonders of iguana childbirth. Grunkle Stan, please. Please, 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 please. Mabel gives him those patent Mabel puppy eyes. Stan lets out a heavy sigh, <sighs> shakes his head, and smiles. <laughs> All right, Pumpkin, go on. I know your friend is waiting for you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Mabel wraps her arms around Stan's waist and gives him, oh dear, a strong hug. 
her wide grin never faltering. She then lets go and grabs Dipper's wrist before that. This is a setup. <laughs> yes, it is. I didn't think so at first because it just seems so Mabel-esque. Yes. And I'm taking Dipper for moral support. Oh, heck yeah. I'll give you all the support you need. Don't be double Dipper right now, Dipper. I... We gotta help be supportive for childbirth. Mabel, you didn't... Never mind. Okay. Wait, I didn't agree to this. Mabel! Mabel! Blech. <laughs> <laughs> I thought lizards hatched from eggs. Uh, I thought so too, but uh, hell, I've seen weirder. <laughs> Best not to question it, kid. Before you delve too deeply into the thought of live birth lither lizards, your phone buzzes in your pocket. You pull it out, and it's a text from Mabel. <clears throat> Do you, do you want to attempt to read this in your in your best Mabel impression, or do you want me to do it? Hi, Triler. I fixed you up so that you get the whole day with Grunkle Stan. Have fun, winky, winky face. face. Oh, uh, shoot. I gotta go. Grinda says Grinda is getting closer to baby time. See ya. <laughs> okay, so it is real, but it's also a setup. Yep. That clever little devil. That's me. That, hey, is uh, something wrong? Nah, just Mabel saying she's going to send lots of pictures of the newborn lizard. <laughs> what are you talking about? Oh, well, uh, come on. Let's get to fishing before it gets dark out. Let's get to fishing before we go missing. <laughs> Wait, what? What? Towards the end of the first pier, docked with only a frayed length of rope, is a sad-looking dinghy with the wards Stanawar brushed on in thick black paint. You know, the small resting motor on the... St Stern that looks as if it's going to fall apart at any moment. And what looks like a hastily made patch on the side. There's no way this thing is watertight. Stan sets the two poles down inside along with the tackle box and gestures at the boat. Well, there she is. <laughs> a beauty, ain't she? Uh, well... <laughs> you look at Stan and then back at the boat and then... Back at him, and then back to Mabel, who's actually secretly recording all of with, this from With some tree. binoculars, and you see her wave, and you see, Hi, Trilo. <laughs> it's a bit small, don't, don't you think? <laughs> what are you talking about? Stan crosses his arms as he says that. Wait, what are you saying? You saying you got a problem with my boat? Uh, no, it's just... Compliment the man's <laughs> boat. Elbow room, carp capacity. Carp capacity. Elbow carp capacity, yep. yep. Where are we going to put the massive amounts of fish we're about to catch, right? Stan laughs at that. <laughs> His expression, brightening. Ah, optimistic. I like it. That's what I'm talking about. I'm going to reel in so much. Yeah. So much fish, it'll be coming out your ears, Stanley Pines. Oh, <laughs> All right, Hotshot. I'll hold you to that. But secretly, I'm going to lose. That way, you'll be the winner. And that way, I can see your smiling face. <laughs> Hopefully, in that really, like, handsome Stan way, I think that's what we're going to get more of. Yeah. To be honest, to be honest. Stan climbs down into the boat first and then offers you his big, strong hand to steady yourself as you follow him down. The boat wobbles a little. Swaying dangerously away from your body. Whoa! But Stan's grip is firm and tight, and you're able to get into the boat without any incident. Whoa! Whoa there, careful now. We don't want you getting wet before we've even gotten started. Ah, <laughs> oh, wait a moment. <laughs> uh, um, well, uh, the foot's a, footing's a little tricky. Uh, see, that plank has a habit of moving and tipping this boat, well, the whole way over. And when that happens, you, uh, you're gonna want to swing your weight over here. Okay, no, I'm out. I'm getting out. I'm getting out. I'm getting too flustered. Stan <laughs> chuckles heartily, making it clear that he was joking. And you're uh, gotcha. Notice that he's still holding your hand from the assist earlier. Uh, uh, I got uh, you. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. Don't worry. You're not gonna get wet, toots. You're in good hands. 
but strong hands. I mean, my hands. <laughs> but, but what if I want to get wet? Ah, uh, I don't know what you're talking about. I might uh, might have to make a little trip into the lake then later. Now, uh, uh, wait. Let's move on. <laughs> and for now, everybody, that's where we're going to end it off. Hope to see you in the next video, and I hope you're having a good time. Because remember, every video is a party, and you're all invited to the next one. See you next time. Thank you, and have a good night.